Hi, CLD Nation. Uh, I went hiking again today and I wasn't planning on making a video, but uh, because the environment is something that really affects uh, how creative we are and how we perform, I decided just to do another quick video about the environment in which we work. The last video we talked more about the micro environment, which is making sure your desk space and your office space and the environment which you can immediately control, how you can improve that to give yourself a better environment. So you have to be kind of aware of what type of environment makes you more productive and most creative. And you also have to distinguish between things that you can control and things that you can't control. For example, uh, for the past five years when I was living in Shanghai, there was no such environment like this where I could come in and kind of escape the day-to-day -day grind of being in a big city and, and fighting the traffic and the transportation and maybe even the smog. Uh, now that we're back in Southern California or to Southern California, I'm not originally from Southern California, uh, this is one of the uh, larger areas or the external environment which we can try to embrace and, and try to enjoy. So for example, in Shanghai, there was no such place that was so convenient. So it's a matter of convenience, it's a matter of accessibility, and it's a matter of what inspires you to be more productive. So for example, in Shanghai, there was no such environment such as this. Uh, so what I would do is I would go to kind of, they had these uh, local Western style bars and restaurants that all had pool tables. Uh, so I give a shout out to the Blue Marlin and to the Big Bamboo in Shanghai. I think all of our friends in Shanghai know about these places. So it's kind of like anytime you want, I could walk almost across the street to the Big Bamboo or to the Blue Marlin based on where I lived and I could immediately be in an environment where somebody knew me and I could just either grab a drink or find somebody to play a game of pool or even just watch uh, sports on the big screen TVs. There's no such Blue Marlin or Big Bamboo here in Southern California, at least close to where I live. So I've embraced another type of activity, which is hiking. And around the immediate area, we drove 30 minutes to this trail. It's about a six mile walk. And you can see there's nobody around. The environment is unbelievable. The air is good. Uh, and after this walk, I will just be energized to um, create my next presentation or, 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 or develop my next strategy as far as how am I going to develop the business here in the U.S. So I just wanted to share something again with, uh, with all of you about things you can control and things you can't control, understanding what motivates and inspires you and how you can make the best of the environment in which you are around. And that's not only the micro environment, which is the desk space that you work, but also the larger surroundings, which is what we're doing here in uh, Southern California. All right, thanks.